Well, as the Gold Link community mourns a fallen officer, Evan Dunn, the suspect accused of hitting and killing him, was in court today. And we're also hearing from another law enforcement widow who is giving her perspective on this tremendous loss. Fox 31's Kasha Carriage joins us live tonight from the Golden Police Department with the very latest on this case. Kasha. Yeah, Matt and Talia, the memorial at this patrol car continues to grow with flowers, American flags and notes just after a week of Officer Dunn's death. Now, other widows of Colorado law enforcement say they're a part of the Blue family who is now supporting the Dunn family. Today, we get to see the remarkable man that Evan truly was. On Wednesday, Officer Evan Dunn was laid to rest after a procession through Littleton. He was brave, he was kind, he was generous. The following day on Thursday, suspect Stephen Gear appeared in court as police believe he was drunk when his vehicle spun out of control on Highway 58, pinning Dunn and another officer underneath a car. The chief describing his final moments with Dunn just hours before his death. To go in to pick up his equipment. And I just looked and I pointed and I said, Evan, and he pointed back and he said, Chief, our eyes met for just a fleeting second. I will hold that moment in my heart for the rest of my life. Law enforcement widow Rachel Flick knows this feeling all too well when her husband Micah, an El Paso County deputy, was shot and killed in 2018. In speaking on his behalf, in ministering to other widows, in um, humanizing law enforcement, I feel like there is a little piece of redemption. Reminding Coloradans of the move over law. His family, his wife, his parents, um, his coworkers are forever changed. They're going to be marked by this loss and they will have a before and after of Officer Dunn's death. Rest in peace, brother. You will always be remembered and you will never be forgotten. Now that suspect is facing charges of vehicular homicide, vehicular assault and driving under the influence. He is due back in court sometime next month. Reporting live in Golden, Kasha Carriage, Fox 31. All right.